Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Mohammad Nasif. Many of you uh, know him. He has come to judge our uh, African Lovebird show. He is a very well-renowned uh, personality in the African Lovebird scene. Uh, welcome to Mr. Nasif. We are happy to have you, and thank you for your time. So, can you listen? Can you hear? Yes. So, shall we start the meeting then? I think we have enough people now. Okay. Thank you. I'm very happy to be with you again. How are you, my friends? Yes, I'm to, uh, Okay. I'm trying to, before. I'm trying to share my uh, now uh, the presentation is. Uh, can you see it now? No, we we can't see the presentation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi, uh, we can see you. Your mic is in a mute. I mean, you can unmute okay. your mic. Uh, I did. Yeah. No. Uh, hmm. Okay. Can you see my uh, the presentation yeah. now? Yeah, it's, it's coming up. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. You go. How are you guys? How are you all? All good. <laughs> uh, I'm happy to be uh, with you again. Uh, first time I visit Kerala in uh, last September. I honor to be judging with my uh, friend uh, Peter Yang from Holland. Uh, I still have uh, many, many. Perfect memories uh, in Kerala uh, for, for its people or its places or the weather or everything. Okay. Uh, I'm honored to uh, in, be invited to uh, talk with readers in Kerala about love birds. Okay. Let's go a uh, fast look about. Uh, we have a uh, agabornis. Agabornis divided into three main groups. We have uh, the, dimorph the dimorphic group, which consists of uh, some uh, species, which uh, <coughs> we can uh, visually can identify. Uh, we uh, and uh, identify male from uh, female. Uh, and an, another group is uh, the eye ringed group. It's also uh, have uh, four species which uh, are specified all by their eye ring. And then we have the middle group which we cannot, uh, the middle group don't con uh, contain, uh, don't share with uh, eye rings their uh, main characters, and also they are not uh, dimorphic. Uh, it's the middle group, which consists of Rosicolis and Sondriensis. Now we are, uh, we will start, uh, I think we will start with uh, the whole nine groups, or the whole nine species uh, from uh, Akbornis. Uh, we divide uh, the seminars into maybe some lectures to describe how how we can how we can uh, breed how we can select how we can choose how we can judge uh, our birds. Today we will start uh, with the eye rings, the whole eye rings, and. Uh, Especially the uh, Agabornis fishery. If the rope was, uh, what is eye rings? What is eye rings? Why we call, call them eye rings? I, I, I know that most of, uh, of you all are uh, very good breeders and you know uh, the reason, but we can explain again. This group uh, with the white eye ring, also called Bersonata group. It's called Bersonata group because Bersonata, maybe it 
contain the whole blood genes of uh, the four species. Uh, all members of this group have a typical white eye ring. Uh, we can we can say that they are all have the whole the same uh, blood pool, the genetic pools, but by selection, by isolation, by time, by uh, adaptation, uh, like any other species of birds or animals, they have every every group uh, isolated in in a certain place, and by time they developed another uh, phenotype, uh, like ducks, like uh, all 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 pigeons, like any other birds, by isolation, by development, by 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 uh, by by time they developed a certain uh, phenotype and a fixed certain phenotype <clears throat> also uh, this group shown no dimorphism we cannot visually uh, identify male from female there is no visible difference between male and female okay uh, what Prove that they are they are all have the whole blood, uh, the same bloodline, but crosses crossbreeding between these four uh, species uh, uh, of the give fertile hybrids. Okay, we can we can make hybrids. We can make hybrids, but, but not preferable. Uh, we can make uh, uh, hybrids between these four uh, species. Uh, this has but but the only advantage uh, is is uh, to make this crossbreeding is to transmutate and we will explain it later okay today we will talk about agabornis fisheries because we we will make many seminars and in each one, uh, seminar we will uh, explain one species agabornis fishery is uh, length is between 15 to 16 centimeters uh, we can say plus or minus uh, 1.5 centimeters we can we can reach we can reach uh, 17 point, uh, 17.5 centimeters and we cannot accept birds less than 14 centimeters okay it's highly uh, undesirable that the spe the specimen should exceed than measurement in minus or plus 1.5 centimeters. Birds less than 14 centimeters tall must be disqualified because we have a certain species in the same group have the same uh, size because the, uh, the smaller size of of uh, of, bear, uh, of specimens will belong to another species like Liliane or Nigrinis. Uh, this bird uh, maturation is about six months. I'm, I'm talking about six months because we have uh, hot weather. We have that here in Egypt, we are similar to the, the, ori the origin of the birds. We can breed birds at six months. Uh, in Europe, uh, maybe uh, they, they can wait to one, one year, 12 months to breed birds, but here they are maturation at six months uh, but you, you you it's be referred to wait until the age of one year is reached because it's like human we can uh, we can have a sexual maturation at uh, 14 or uh, 13 but uh, you marry at uh, after 20 because it we have in, in maturation we have uh, two steps sexual maturation which which the, 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 the six organs mature and the secondary maturation which the whole body takes the, the final form to be able to be uh, to be uh, to be uh, like adults uh, <clears throat> okay but, uh, due to the, the risk of laying uh, trouble because, because we can breed i i myself breed uh, female
but at but uh, certainly these females ha have have troubles with laying uh, eggs they lay between three to uh, to seven eggs uh, we have all uh, also a note don't leave youngs with their parents for too long because uh, agabornis agabornis species uh, is have some aggressive behavior uh, when the female want to uh, make uh, the second clutch she will force her babies to get out of the nest uh, maybe she she will behave uh, in aggressive way uh, with with uh, with his uh, cheeks Let's take a look about uh, the four species of uh, irings. We have Agabornis fishery here, Agabornis personatus. <coughs> they are uh, both uh, share the, the big size in the irings. Then we have another. We have the mini Negriginis. We called it mini personatus, and Liliane, we called it mini fishery today why we are talking about fisheries we're talking about fisheries because most of of us not breed for just having cheeks we are breed for uh, competition we are breed for uh, shows we are breed even for uh, commercially issues. So all of us, we have a target. What is our target from breeding? The target is I breed to have the standard species. Just what is the standards of species? Every, every species from the four uh, subspecies of, of irings have its uh, its standards have its its uh, phenotype different than the other although what it make the, the whole mess the whole uh, the crossbreeding between the four species so how can we identify our what is between our hands what is uh, the, I want to tell you all something. Love birds, or maybe all the birds, we have one principle. We have color areas and transition zones. If, uh, I don't know if you can see me now or not. Yes, we can see your presentation. Okay, can I want to move to uh, to my cam. I kindly request others to turn off your cameras and your I, somebody is sharing the screen. Request everyone to turn off your camera and mic. Can you see me now? Yes, sir, we can see you now. Okay. Today we are talking about lovebirds. Okay? What is how 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 is lovebirds looks like? Lovebirds we can make this. I think the whole lovebirds share the same outlines of what I draw, right? But we have four. We have now we have four uh, species of irings, and we have. The whole of birds consists of nine species. 
the whole share the same diagram. What is the difference between the whole nine species? The difference between the whole nine species is color area, number one, color areas, number two, transition zoom. How is Rizukolis? Looks like, Rizukolis looks like, his mask, solid color, his ram. What his fishery looks like? Mask consists of two The head is two areas with a transition zone. The head between body also different areas, different color, different transition zone. How personatus looks like? Another color areas, another transition lines and you can say the whole nine species so how can i judge my birds how can i judge what is between my hands this is a theory this is the target of what you breed this is the target of, 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 of how, how, how you can select okay Again, do you, do, you, do you want to, uh, to repeat what I said? 